Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this stacked handle slingshot. I started to make this almost two months ago when I decided that I wanted to experiment with different types of slingshots and I was kind of bored of making board cut slingshots and wanted to try different techniques and stuff like that. Originally, since this was going to be an experiment, I decided that I wasn't going to upload a tutorial but then just randomly I decided to record the video anyway just in case. Now recently, since the slingshot actually turned out quite well, I've decided to give it away in my 20,000 subscriber giveaway contest and a lot of you requested for me to upload the tutorial, so I'm glad that I managed to take the video when I did. I used a lot of different tools and materials in the slingshot including some homemade micarta, a lot of acrylics, some plywood and I also in the top of the handle here used some coins. Since this tutorial wasn't originally actually ever going to be uploaded, I didn't really take that much in-depth video and I just took pictures here and there and a couple of bits of time-lapse video, so this tutorial is not going to be as in-depth as my tutorials usually are. So let's see how you make the slingshot. For the fork area of the slingshot, I've decided that I'm going to be using some 18mm multiplex birch plywood that could also be called Baltic birch plywood. I had this thin off cut like this and this would work perfectly for the fork area I decided. I then just took a normal power drill and drilled a hole straight through the middle. The hole is the perfect diameter fit in this thick steel rod which is going to go through the, th the hole of the handle. Now it's time to start experimenting with different types of things to laminate onto the handle. I decided for the first thing I wanted to use some 2P coins. I thought that most 2P coins were just made of solid copper but however as it turns out all of the modern 2P coins are not made of solid copper. After figuring this out I searched on the internet and found out that traditionally most 2P and 1P coins in Britain were made of co an alloy of copper, zinc and tin from before 1992 but then after 1992 in September they changed all of the 2P and 1P coins to just copper plated steel. So I got coins all with dates predating 1992 and then I was using a file to check whether they were real copper or not. I then took the old coins which I was using and drilled holes straight through them with my drill press. I'm drilling a small pilot hole first and then I'm moving on to the larger diameter drill bit which I used to drill through the multiplex plywood earlier. Once that was done I added a one pound coin on the top just to make the slingshot feel a bit more valuable and then once I added all the coins it looked like this. I'm now cutting out various other materials which I want to laminate onto the slingshot and I need to make sure that they're wide enough in all directions to fit on the slingshot handle. Here I'm just cutting out some 9mm thick denim micarta. I then as usual drill a hole straight through the middle with my power drill. I can then once that's done start to arrange all of the coins and materials as I planned earlier. As I glue them on I'm applying lots of a two part epoxy in between the layers and also onto the bolt. This is going to hold all of the pieces in place. When I got onto the coins I decided that it would be cool if I alternated between copper coins and just copper plated steel coins so it would give a really cool striped effect. Once I got right to the very end of the handle with all of my different materials I put on a bolt and then tightened it up really really tight using a spanner. The glue can then be left to set overnight. I can now start to try rounding and shaping the handle into more of a slingshot like handle that's going to feel really nice. Since I didn't glue on thick enough material as well I wasn't able to make a really big comfortable palm swell so the slingshot is kind of still an experiment even though it turned out quite nicely. I needed to balance the difference between the mahogany wood which I added in the middle and then the hard metal and I needed to make sure that I didn't shape too much out of the mahogany and then not enough out of the metal which would make the slingshot uneven and not look very well nice. I'm just shaping all of the material using a combination of wood rasps and metal files. I'm using wood rasps on softer materials such as the micarta and then obviously the metal files just on the metal. Also it's really important to remember but even on small projects like this there's a lot of fine dust created by plastics like the acrylic and also by the micarta so it's really important to wear a good dust mask. Now just using the same two part epoxy resin that I was using earlier, I'm going to glue on some homemade micarta on either side of the fork. Once this is shaped down it's going to create a really nice contouring effect. After the glue is set overnight again it's time to start shaping. As usual I'm just using a normal wood rasp to shape down the micarta so that it's flush with the plywood. 
Also with the contours that's created by the micarta, it's really really easy to see how symmetrical you're getting your work. And that's going to look really nice if you do it properly, but then if you create a slingshot that's not symmetrical, then it'll look really bad because the patterns won't be good on either side. Here you can see each pattern on the different pieces of micarta is completely symmetrical. I've also shaped down the handle so that it feels really nice. Now I'm going back to my drill press and I'm going to drill two holes through the top of each of the different parts of the fork where I want the bolts to go through that are going to secure different bits of the fork. Once these holes have been vertically drilled I can put this bolt through and it fits perfectly. I'm then going to take my adjustable spanner and tighten it up as tight as it'll go. Once both bolts have been done really tight this is where the forks are going to go and they're on completely solidly and are definitely not coming off anytime soon. Then yet again using my drill press I'm just going to drill holes straight through the middle of some oak which is then going to fit over the bolts. Using the biggest drill bit I can find I'm just going to drill slightly into the wood so that it can sit over the nuts which I've used to tighten up the bolts and then go flush with the multiplex plywood. Once all the holes have been drilled I can then screw on the wood like this. Since I drilled the holes so small you actually have to screw the bolt onto the wood so that it will be a very very secure fit. Now as per usual I'm just going to be using the epoxy resin glue and I'm just going to apply a lot of it over the bolt and then the nut and then screw on the different pieces of oak. Now using rasps I'm going to rasp flush the oak wood with the multiplex plywood so that it's going to be a flat edge that I can glue on some material. Then just using the same epoxy resin as usual I just glued on some more micarta. This micarta is homemade and I've got a tutorial on how to make it and this is made from a combination of denim and felt. I used a wood rasp to shape it down so that it curves around the fork to make it look nicer. So now that all this is done and I've finished shaping the slingshot to how I would like it, it's time to start sanding it up. To do that I'm just going to be using a combination of metal files to get out all of the deep scratches from the rasps and then wet and dry paper to get out some other deep scratches and then for the final polish I'm going to be using some sanding sponges which leave a really really nice finish. You can buy sanding sponges from pretty much anywhere and you can get them from a hardware store but I got mine off eBay. I'm going to polish the wood on the slingshot all the way up to 600 grit and then most of the metal will be polished all the way up to 1000 grit. Once the polishing is complete, this is what the slingshot looks like. I decided for this slingshot that I wanted to make the micarta and the plastic in the handle look really, really shiny. So I went over to my drill press and clamped in an attachable buffing wheel and then started to buff on the slingshot. This caused the slingshot to become really, really smooth and shiny. I'm then going to start to oil the slingshot. This is going to bring out the grain in any of the wood which is on the slingshot, like the multiplex plywood and also the mahogany wood that's in the middle of the handle. Since I made this slingshot a while ago, I'm just using the normal sunflower oil that I used to use, but I now have linseed oil which is much better. This is what the slingshot looks like after three coats of the oil being applied. It feels really really nice when I pull on the forks and it doesn't really strain my wrist very much at all. Now all that's left to do is to add some elastic to the slingshot. I'm using some Theraband Gold flat bands which are target shooting bands and are really tapered. These bands are homemade and I've got quite an old tutorial on my channel if you want to go and check it out if you want to make homemade bands. But if you don't want to make homemade bands you can buy pre-made band sets off just eBay or the Slingshot Channel Store or Simpleshot.com or just pretty much any slingshot website. These bands can be attached around the fork just using the simple rack around method using elastic bands. Since the fork tips are quite thin but they're also really smooth, this gives really good purchase on the bands to hold even the strongest band sets on. Now it's time to test out shooting the slingshot. Since it was really windy outdoors I wasn't able to test the slingshot anywhere else apart from indoors. So I'm just firing some 15mm steel ball bearings and as always remember to wear safety glasses. Despite the slingshot bands only being target shooting bands, since they're really tapered, they have quite a lot of power behind them. So some of the shots were quite accurate, but quite a lot of them were really far off from the centre. But this is only really my first time using the slingshot, I haven't used it that much at all. So thanks for watching guys, that's all for this tutorial, and unfortunately because of the weather, I wasn't able to get any outdoor shooting, so sorry for that. If you do want to see some slightly longer range testing of any of my other slingshots, I've got a lot of other slingshot tutorials on my channel where it has been a lot better weather and I've been able to test them outdoors. 
So as I said earlier, thanks for watching guys and thank you for watching this far and if you do manage to make a slingshot following basically these tutorials or something along the line of this tutorial then please send me a personal message with some pictures or an email at theartofweapons at gmail.com as I said earlier, I am giving this slingshot away in my 20,000 subscriber giveaway contest, so if you do want to try and win this slingshot, there's rules for entering the contest in the link in the description down below, where it will take you to a video where I explain everything about the contest. If you did enjoy this video, then please hit the like button down below because I put a lot of effort into making this video, and subscribe so that you can see more tutorials like this on slingshots and other weapons.